Welcome, Scorpio. Welcome, Scorpio. This reading is for you. I already did some pre-shuffles. What is in store for Scorpio? Let's see what's coming to you next. We're going into Scorpio season on the 23rd. And then we have the eclipse in Scorpio on the 25th. And with the eclipse, there's bound to be some kind of change. When I was meditating on your energy, I was feeling like you've kind of outgrown your situation. Um, you've outgrown your circumstances. And I feel like you're ready for something new. And with this eclipse coming in, there's bound to be change. Oh, that's too many. I feel like big change is coming to you. I feel like it's going to be like out with the old and in with the new. Um, I get the sense that you're going to be purging things from your life that no longer serve you. Um, that you're in need of a drastic change. High Priestess. So your current energy is a High Priestess. So you're really riding on high right now. Um, you have more trust in yourself. You're using your intuition. You're coming into Scorpio season. You're feeling really bold and energized. Please forgive me. My nasals are kind of running havoc on me today. Sorry, I apologize in advance. But I feel like coming into your season, you are, you're ready for any changes that are coming, coming through. You're ready to take on any challenge. As I said, you're using your intuition. Okay, and the Knight of Cups. Okay, so this could be This could be love. Um, this could also be a passion. This could be just your energy. You you're ready for whatever is coming. I kind of feel that. And um, you're making choices. You're making choices on what to keep in your life and what to get rid of. I think those choices are kind of hard as well. Yeah, with the Eight of Cups. I think some of those choices are a little disappointing. What's leaving your life at the moment. And the moon. So yeah, I think that there's there's things that, that aren't seen right now, but they're gonna come into light. And um, Scorpio, I know that you're all about seeing the truth. And I think a lot of truth is going to come out um, within this next couple weeks. You're going to see things for exactly how they are. Yeah, the six of past, uh, the six of cups. 
So yeah, this could be something that is coming back from the past. Maybe you're reviewing emotions from the past. Maybe from something that you've let go. You have the will of fortune. Okay. And the star. There you go. I love that star right underneath the high priestess. The Three of Swords under the Two of Swords. And the Death card. Okay. And the Three of Cups. Okay, let's get into this and see what we have. We also have the Knight of Wands on the bottom. So your energy is flowing. Um, you're kind of bursting with energy. You're ready for your Scorpio season. Okay. Okay. With the Eight of Cups and the Nine of Cups, um, I feel like maybe there's love that that's just not working out. That. You're having a hard time going at it and it's causing a lot of disappointments and you're ready to just walk away. Um, with the high priestess, I feel like, you know, you're using your intuition. This is your energy at the moment, the high priestess and the star. So you are ready for healing. You're ready for whatever comes next. You're ready to tackle whatever challenges and I feel like with the High Priestess and the Star, you have the ability to adapt and to conquer any challenges that come your way. I feel like with the, the Wheel of Fortune right next to that, you are going to be successful in whatever it is you choose to do, whatever avenue that you decide to go on. Um, the Two of Swords and the Three of Swords, I feel like that there's choices. There's choices in love. There's choices that you know that there's a choice that needs to be made. Um, I feel like this is this is heartbreak and disappointments. So I, I feel like this person disappointed you and now you're making the choice to Kind of purge that situation out of your life especially with the moon and the death card right next to it you're ready for a new beginning you're ready to end this and move on and with the three of cups you're actually supported you this is my support card you actually have the support maybe you have friends maybe you have family um maybe your children are supporting you through the situation but I feel like you are supported to go through whatever you need to go through in this situation. And with the new eclipse, the new eclipse in Scorpio on the 25th, these challenges are inevitable. So kind of take the ride and just process through the information. Because you're, you're going to be successful in whatever you decide to do. I feel like you've been really going through it for some time. And now you're just ready for a change. I feel like everything has kind of been weighted on you. You've been feeling kind of boxed up. But I feel like, especially in, in your season, Scorpio, and Scorpio season, this is time for you to let loose and find yourself again. I feel like you've been lost for a while. 
and now you're truly finding yourself. Especially with this death card being here, I feel like you're you're coming back to you. And I don't have well, with the two of swords and the three of swords, I think is that you're making a progression in this. The three of pentacles. Yeah, you definitely Maybe you have a team of friends who's here to support you. Whether it's girls or guys, you have that. Those people surrounding you that are ready to support you in whatever decisions that you make. That's beautiful. And the other five of cups. So yeah, you're definitely going through disappointments at the moment. But I think those those disappointments, those those aren't gonna last too much longer. It's gonna turn around. Yes, there we go. It's gonna turn around because you have the magician. And I'm sorry, my cat just bumped, bumped the camera. Sorry, I apologize. He's playing in the background. You have the magician, so you are definitely in your power. You are in your power. You are thinking about your decisions. You're making your plans. You have all the capabilities of making change in your life. And I feel like that change is going to be coming forward. That change is going to be... Extraordinary in your life. Yes, definitely the Queen of Swords. So you're gaining a lot of clarity on the on the situation. You're thinking about your next moves. You're just ready. You're ready for those next moves. Yeah, the Eight of Cups. And the two of cups so yeah you're definitely you're definitely thinking very hard about leaving the situation um this situation may not serve you any longer and this may not be for all of you this may be just for some of you um for a very few i feel like the Eight of Cups is you moving into something much stronger in this relationship. And like I said, that's for a very few. But I feel your energy moving. You definitely have a burst of energy right now. The Six of Wands, yeah. You are, you're going to be victorious in this situation and people are going to see you and they are going to recognize your, your beauty, your extraordinary personality. Scorpios are strong. They're very strong. And even though you may be going through it at the moment, uh, or feel like you're going through it at the moment, I feel like you're going to be victorious. You're going to get through any situation that you that comes across you, uh, any challenge, I feel like you will be victorious in this situation. Yeah, you've been feeling like, you've been feeling like, is it worth the effort? Because you're feeling overburdened, you're feeling like everything is on you. Wow, Scorpio.
the Six of Cups. We've got that twice. So definitely, um, maybe someone who will be coming in from the past, or maybe this will be support from your family. Um, maybe you've just been thinking about the past a lot, uh, kind of reminiscing. But I feel like that may have brought you a lot of disappointments. Maybe your past is covered with disappointments. So if that is the case, um, kind of shake yourself out of it. Shake yourself out of it. Don't stay in the past for too long because the past can kind of devour us and not let us see what's intended for us in the future. You can't see what's ahead if you're always looking back. That's what I'm feeling right now. Yeah, the Eight of Swords. You're, you're really caught in your head right now. You're deep in your emotions. Yeah, I feel like whatever happened in the past, you're, it, it's really tying you up in knots. Yeah, and I think, I think you need to move away from that energy. Definitely. Yeah, you definitely need to move away from that energy. Four of Swords. It's time for you to break free of that. Yeah, the death and rebirth. Okay, yeah, it's time for you to break free, to put an end. Spirit is letting you know it's time to put that to, to an end. It's time to end that and start again with the death card. See, we have the, the death rider, and under the veil, we have a bright new beginning. So, yeah, and I think you need to think of it as that. It will be a ending and a bright new beginning because you also have the page of pentacles at the bottom. So, very deep reading, Scorpio. And yeah, the Knight of Swords, you're, you're running away from this situation. You finally see, and the Page of Cups. So you may, you may have someone else who may be coming in to give you an offer to kind of let you know how they feel. Okay, let's get some Oracle cards to see what's going on further. Let's see. Yeah, I feel like with this being your season, Scorpio, you are really coming into your own. You're thinking more about your needs with the Four of Swords. You're thinking more about your needs. You're, t you're thinking about caring more about yourself at the moment, which is beautiful, especially with this death card where you have this ending and this bright, beautiful beginning. The death card in a reading is definitely not as scary as it may seem. It's actually very beautiful because with every ending, there's always a new beginning. So that there's always that light, that light at the end of the tunnel. And I feel like with you, um, with you kind of going through it, you're going through life. Right now, it's kind of kicking you in the behind. But I feel like that bright star is guiding you into your new beginning. This is going to be something that is going to be a beautiful season for you, Scorpio.
Okay, I know that I crossed the line with you. Hmm. Yeah, I think maybe your person, your person knows that they went too far in this situation and that they may have lost you. That's the reason why you have these decisions to make. This is the reason for the, the death and rebirth. You have the death card in your reading twice. Um, but I feel like with the Wheel of Fortune, you're going to move on and you are going to find happiness. Okay. Yeah, I wish I had treated you better. Well, that... Yeah, so it seems like this person has remorse on how they treated you. Um, but I I'm, I'm getting the feeling that, that you don't want to accept an apology, that you're just ready to go. You're just ready to go and move on. Okay. Okay, let's take one more Oracle card. We'll get an Angel card. What do the angels want to tell us at the moment? Okay. A message from our angels, please. Give Scorpio a message for guidance from the angels. You have Chantel. New romance is imminent, either with a newcomer or through reignited passion in your existing relationship. Be open to giving and receiving love. Okay, so it seems like if you decide to take the, this person back, you know, you have that ability. Um, but it may be a newcomer. Uh, like I said, we do have the um, the Knight of Wands on the bottom. And also we have the uh, Knight of Cups in the reading as well. The bottom of the deck, Idriel, you are a light worker. God needs you to shine your divine light and love like an angel upon the earth and all of its inhabitants. Yeah, so... Spirit is actually letting you know that you are capable. You are, you are someone who people love and adore. So make sure that you go through this season really believing that um, you have healing. You have intuition. You do trust yourself. Um, make a wish on your star. This is renewal. This is, this is miracles coming forward in your life. And this is your energy. So yeah, go through this month knowing that you are beautiful. You are capable, you are adaptable, um, no challenges can kind of push you back so far that you can't get forward. You are an unstoppable force. So yes, I love this energy for you. Um, all right, Scorpio. Okay, if this reading has resonated with you, please like and subscribe. I'd love to have you as a supporter. And happy birthday, Scorpio. It's coming quick. Go into your season happy and full of energy. Many blessings to you, love and love.